Hey guys, Jeff from Lead Ammunition here. I just wanted to make this short video. Uh, recently, uh, about two months ago, I was contacted by a customer that was having a hard time fitting our low profile ACOG mount inside of the uh, PS90 P90 receiver. If you see here, it's our mount. It goes in like this, a nice low profile mount. Uh, we also have another version that uses the DT Chaos plate system. Again, drops in really nice. Well, I had the customer send me the receiver because I've never had that issue before. Uh, we've been making this low profile uh, mount for over 20 years now and had no issues. Well, they sent out the receiver and first thing I noticed right away, FN has revised the mold for the P90, PS90 receivers. Uh, they've made everything thicker in certain areas and stuff. So now our ACOG mounts don't drop in all the way. Uh, they start to drag on the rear here. Uh, so basically, uh, put a little note up here, and it still fits in the front. You will have to remove a small amount of material on either side of the back of the mount. Uh, we're not going to completely retool because, for one, these mounts, uh, this, these receivers just came out. And there's a slideshow following up after this showing all the different dimensional differences and stuff. Uh, the issue being is it already fits, so I don't say loose, but there's a little bit of extra room in here on the original one uh, to allow a little bit of windage adjustment with the screws and stuff so you can get it just right. Uh, I don't want to completely retool and shave these down and not have them quite fit right. But then also these are literally a brand new receiver and it just takes just you just have to re uh, file off just a little bit of the material from the back to get it to fit. It's rather quick and, and any, any, any competent gunsmith can do it. You just file off a, a little bit on each side and it drops right in. But like I said, uh, FN has revised the mold on the receiver. I had somebody ask. They made the comment, is, is, is their current receiver got a weak spot or something like that? Well, the current receivers have been molded the same way since about 1990, and there's literally tens of thousands and thousands of them out there firing full auto P90 rounds. Uh, there is no real inherent weakness with the receiver on the uh, P90, PS90, except in one spot, but that has to do with customers. This area here, this little bridge right here, thin and can be cracked okay that's where your spring for your takedown button is i'll put uh, a separate slide in here showing where this has been thickened up now this does not fail on its own when people are using the gun normally what happens is is when people sbr their ps90s themselves and they don't know how to do it and they don't know how to take apart the receiver correctly they end up screwing this up that's the only time I've ever seen this fail, is when customers or people decide to work on their own stuff when they SBR it, and they don't know what they're doing. Uh, people have complained sometimes, hey, I SBR my rifle, and now the takedown button doesn't move back and forth nice and smooth like it's supposed to. Well, that's what's happened. You just took it apart wrong. You kind of uh, crushed the assembly, and it will happen with this. This is very lightweight material. And that will mess this up. But otherwise, I've seen no issues with this receiver. I've got, and I'll put some slides here. I've got a receiver where the customer is firing subsonics, and they put nine bullets into the barrel, all wedged in right here at the receiver. Uh, expanded the barrel and everything destroyed the barrel but the receiver was salvageable once i drilled everything out cut the old barrel up get the, got the old barrel out and everything the old receiver was still in good shape and ready to go all right guys so just a little note if you have a newer and one of the quickest ways you can tell and again uh, i'll put this i'll put a separate individual slide in here is where the serial number is on the old style which you're going to see most of what you see up there now is going to be the old sound, probably new in the box too, where the serial number is, it's just a flat area. Uh, on the newer revised ones, there's a little step above it, and you can tell they've added like a little little banner area right there 
uh, for the uh, receiver. That way you'll know right away that you have a new receiver. You don't have to go out and get a micrometer and start measuring all the different things. All right, guys, again, Jay from Elite Ammunition, and don't forget your coffee and enjoy the slideshow.